dial-up internet. It is something that people seem to be interested in now, and interested enough to where I have 1,500 subscribers. Thank you to all of you. Today I have something kind of special planned. It includes a box. Let's get into it. Alright, so first things first is we got to use a thing to open up the box. Let's get into it. Nothing wrong with overkill. Wow, this thing is crap. I probably should have chosen another one. This, first of all, let's, let's get all this crap off. This just kind of, don't need that. Because this is what we're here for. This is a Genesis X-Band video game modem. This was one of the first, if not the first, online video game companies, I guess you could say, systems. This is a very special piece in our history because this is the basis for pretty much every online thing that we know of now. And it's going to take a magician to figure out how to open it. Oh, there we go. There it is. This is the X-Band modem. A very interesting device. Phone goes in. Something and then your game goes up here. Now only certain games can be used with this, which thankfully I have one, and I'll be showing that later in this video. But for now, let's just look at the contents of this modem. First, the modem. Let's take out some of this uh, extra stuff right here. Good that they packed it full of it though, that's always nice. Oop. Now, what, did it, what else did it come with? It came with all of the paperwork. So it has all of the instructions. There we go. The phone jack. The phone cord. If you didn't know what a phone cord was before, I can't help you. Pass-through switch. That is... So make sure it switches down if you like to play a game without the extra memory. Switch. Oh, now you can play games. Oh. Okay, that's cool. Card slot. This is what I was confused about. X Band cards will let you pay for X Band services and more. Ah. We'll see if we can get around that if that's even a thing anymore. Uh, game connector. That's at the top, yeah. Okay. Well, supposedly, this can. Yep, that's what it's supposed to look like and your Sega Genesis. They also had one of these for the uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, which is really cool. Oh, hey, what'd you look at there? I have one of those right somewhere, but that's nice. Uh, da -da 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 -da. They made one of these for the SNES too, which is very cool, but honestly, I think it had probably a better game thing for that, because this isn't very good. Oh, yeah, you can see the X-Band News and the online newspaper. Wow. Nowadays, we know that is the news. Um, all right, well, that's cool. Let's see, what else did it come with? A quick reference card. I will be using this. Yeah, that's very useful. Keyboard? What? There was a keyboard? Hmm. 
know what I'm looking for next. Online conduct. Ooh, harassment. Uh, and then an important notice is design plug. Card report, please move any game card enhancement device from. Oh. I was hoping I could play this with Doom. That would be cool. But this is expand. Now this is a very, very, at least to me, cool system that they have all going on here. I mean, online games in like, what, 1980... 1994. Thank you, voiceover me, for that. That helped. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I also have editing software now, so, yeah. Um, yeah, that is the X-Band modem, and let's actually see it work. So let's get into it. Like, uh, now. Okay, now we have everything that we need. We have our wonderful television, our Sega Genesis, and our X-Band modem. And even Sonic. But there's still a problem, because this TV is a little too old. This does not actually have the AV input, so what I'm going to have to do is... Now we have a VCR. So we can connect that, or this, this to that, and then that to that. So let's see if it worked. Theoretically, if I turn this on, this should also come on. It does. Wonderful. Now if I push eject. Hmm. That blue is looking mighty black. There we go. Good. Alrighty. So now we have a good working television with a Sega Genesis. Now, of course, this is something that I guess everybody's got to do at some point or another, and that's test. Let's turn that up a little bit. Okay, well you get the point. Sonic works. So that's good. Now we try the thing that we're all wanting to try. Expand. So let's get this installed. Alright, so now that we have the only game that I really have to work with this, which is the Street Fighter 2 Super, <laughs> we need to plug it into the wall. So let's do that. Splitter in here. All right. That is the wrong button. So what we want to do, options, 
account info. Let's see. Let's do that. Let's get my X mail. Here we go. It's dialing. Here that it's making any noise, but it is attempting to connect, I guess. So I guess in the meantime, let's hear some of this sick music. X-Band is busy redialing. So my first thought is that it's not going to work. Let's, uh, let's see if we can find a, ooh, let's try another way of doing this. Now there's also a chance that we've just called somebody. Register with Xband. Try to connect again. Come on. You got this. Oh yeah, you can see it sl slow down on here. It's dialing. Another little graphic on the actual device itself. So if this does not work and it shows up with... Uh, that. We'll try something else. So, one thing I remember seeing is a phone number. So if things don't work, we can test it. So let's open up the manual here. Right there. Oops. Hold on. 800 X4 X band. So 800 X4. So that's X4 X B A N D. So 800 949 2263. That's the number that was given in here. Let's see what it comes out to. It's going to be some sort of government. This call may be recorded for quality assurance. We have a special promotion today for select callers. If you are over 50, please press 1 now. I'm getting the slight inkling that... Uh, it isn't X-Band anymore. Actually, I have no idea what that number is. Uh, okay, so safe to say that, that doesn't quite work anymore, but uh, let's go look at some of the other features of this. Um, so let's, see, let's see some other features of the X-Band modem, just as it sits. Alrighty, let's see. Let's 
let's go to challenge. What's in challenge? Because that didn't work. Stats. Alrighty, that's interesting then. Oh look, see doing another graphic. You know, I can almost guarantee that those buttons don't actually do anything. Alright. Let's go to player list. New. Coob? Okay, yeah, Coob. Because I can't spell, let's go with Coob. Come on, Coob. Because I need to register. And evidently the line is for something for seniors, which is odd. See my band right. Okay. X band news. Okay. X mail. Done. Come on. Cool. Yeah, so basically, there's sadly not a whole lot you can do with this, but you know what? I'm sure there's a program out there to help this along. And to help this along, I'm going to need a wonderful VOIP box, which will be coming in a future video. Once I get that, I'm pretty sure there's a program that I can install to use this online. Once I do that, That'd be great. But as of right now, this is just going to be kind of a work in progress project. And, uh, well, in the meantime, I'll be figuring out why my reset button doesn't work. But I will also be playing Street Fighter 2, because why not? And something to make it even harder, I'll be doing it on a three button controller. Mmm, very nice. But for now, this is pretty much it. Not a whole lot that's actually going to be able to happen until I'm able to get these things. So for now, thank you for watching the video. And I'm just gonna play this because why not? Level one, fight.